Okay, so today I'm going to talk about switches and specifically about normally open versus normally closed. So the first thing to remember is we're talking about digital signals here that are discrete. They have a finite range of values. In this case, because it's a digital signal, it only has two signals. It's not as exact as analog, but it is much easier to work with. Um, I've put a power symbol there because basically those are the choices. It's also where the power symbol comes from. Um, you'll see there that it's a circle and a line. The circle represents digital zero. The line represents digital one, on and off. Okay, so let's look at the logic levels for open and close. So when something's open, we say it's a zero, or it's zero volts, or it's false, or it's off, or current is not flowing. If it's open, we say that it's a one. It might be five volts. We might say that it was true. We would say it was on, and we would say that current is flowing. All right, closed. The circuit is closed. It's complete. All right, so this is a sample switch. I've got here that has three pins so that it could be wired normally opened or normally closed. And so the pin on top is the normally open pin. You can see that it is not connected. There's a schematic on the side of this switch, which you will see sometimes. The common pin has to always be used and the normally closed pin is connected. So you'll always use the common pin and then you'll use either the normally open or the normally closed. You won't use both. Then you'll change the state by pressing the push button on top here. So on a normally open switch, we have our push button, all right? And we're going to use two wires and connect at the common pin and at the normally open pin. So we bring wires in and connect there. And when we do that, this is how it would work. That switch would be normally open. So our normal output would be zero. Our current would not be flowing. When we press and hold that push button, the state's gonna change to one because we'll close it. So it's normally open. When we push it, it's a one, all right? That's a normally open switch. Normally closed, we start with the same switch, but now we're gonna use different pins. So we're going to use the common pin and the normally closed pin. We're going to use two wires, one to the common pin, one to the normally closed pin. So we run the wires into those two pins and then we have this situation. So we're going to have a one normally. When the button is pressed and held, we're going to get a zero, which is going to mean that it's open. It changes states when we press the button. So it's normally closed, it's normally a one, current is flowing. When we hold, press the button, we change the state, all right? So I hope this helps you understand normally open and normally closed.